All right, now it's a quick video. I wanted to review the latest batch of Mario Kart 8 DLC, which is very good. I had it all set up, you know, making my notes, seeing exactly what the characters are like, what all the different parts correspond to, see the P-Wings, just a circuit special. You know, I'm enjoying it, I'm playing it. And I go to start recording, because you know, you obviously need footage, you can't just talk about the game. Oh, you know, movie trailers or something. But this piece of shit, the Haupeug HD PVR, fucking sucks. Uh, so instead, I'm going to review this thing. Well, I, I suppose I just did. It is awful. It doesn't work. It straight doesn't work. Now, admittedly, it was a foolish proposition to purchase this in the first place. Because, well, I'm sure the uh, actual video cards which Hapauj make are very good. Uh, I thought, well, this would be nice. It's a, it's a USB device. Is this actually USB? No, it's some proprietary connector, but the other end is USB. So I thought, oh, that'd be nice, nice little one-stop shop. Don't have to fiddle about it, don't have to install anything into that whew, ancient PC. I'll just plug it in and play. Um, but it, it, just, it just straight up doesn't work. But the big reason why it doesn't work, not on my keyboard, is this piece of shit. This is the only way in which you can interact with it. It is a third-party program, not made by Hapaog, not supported by Hapaog, not supported by the own fucking people who make it anymore, and probably hasn't been for at least five years. It defaults to XSplit, because XSplit is just some bizarre piece of shit that's on its own, right? Uh, this is the only way you can do it. You have to press capture there. Uh, it has had absolutely no streaming capabilities whatsoever. If I wanted to stream something from the HD PVR, I would have to set, say, XSplit, coincidentally, uh, just to record this tiny little window. Or, if I wanted to make it a slightly bigger window, press that, now it's full screen, and those are the only two options you can have. Tiny window, or full screen. It sucks. Uh, it can't differentiate um, between sources on its own, you have to manually select that. If you have a source uh, to multiple at once, it can't determine between them, so if you have it set to, say, uh, a component input, well, you know, let's say the Wii U happened to be plugged into component at that time, then you wanted to play something on composite, you would have to open, you have to, if, you don't, if you didn't have your PC on, you'd have to turn your PC on, open this program, click the little box, change it to composite, now you can play games on your TV, but I didn't actually realized this was a problem way back when I made my Prap of the Rapper videos. Uh, but PlayStation, obviously, uh, doesn't have component input. Uh, composite only. RGB, SCART. Ideally this thing doesn't actually have SCART input, it has component, composite, and S-Video. I've never known any device that uses S-Video, but I'm sure they exist somewhere. And so I plug it in. Yellow, white, red, it's all ready to go and the left audio channel is much quieter than the right one. And I thought that was just some bizarre thing that had gone wrong with uh, the audio cables, because I got them secondhand from somewhere, I don't even know where. But actually, it's entirely this program and this piece of shit device's fault. Because when I plug the cables straight into the television, the audio is absolutely perfect. <sighs> So it doesn't work. It straight does not work. Um, see, look at this. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything. I've been recording it. All I did was turn my TV off, and it's not even connected to the TV. It's not even connected to the USB, but for some reason, the device in use has been disconnected, and this happens all the time. Sometimes, uh, yeah, you'll plug it in first in USB. It's the USB plug to prove that nothing actually happened to it. You'll plug it in, and it, and it just won't recognise the device. So, you press this button to turn it on. A little blue light lets you know it's on. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. Sometimes you close the program and open it, it works. Sometimes you close the program and open it, it doesn't work. Sometimes it works, and then all of a sudden it just decides not to work. As in this regard. It is one of, if not the worst, 
purchases I have ever made. Um, and that's all I've got to say about it. The Mario Kart 8 DLC on the other hand is great. Uh, really nice. Yeah, I was going to make some points. How, you know, they say you've got three new characters, but actually the female and male villagers have slightly different stats. So really it's like you're getting four characters. Uh, 200cc mode is just absolutely mental. Can't even get on the scoreboard when I play against computers. <sighs> the GBA maps are, are really good because you know the GBA uh, the courses in Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance were kind of shitty because it was all just flat and you know it, it was just bad so when they took uh, Cheese Land and Ribbon Road and adapted them uh, they pretty much just had to create entirely new courses and they're really fun especially Ribbon Road is just mental how they've taken just an ugly Mode 7 disaster and turned it into something that's it's really unique in Mario Kart 8 also Cooper City from 3DS uh, known as Neo Bowser City in uh, America and probably Japan um, and all these signs on the track still read Neo Bowser City, so I don't know why it's called Cooper City, it's just... I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I haven't made any videos in a while, but, I you know, I thought you know, I could do good and, and make a, a follow-up to my first Mario Kart. Speaking of which, oh my goodness, there's something I haven't complained about yet. Hang on a second, folks, we're going real time here. Yeah? I'm going to type in Mario Kart Eight DLC review and make like a million typos. I'm typing it with one hand. Let's see where the fuck's mine. Obviously, mine isn't going to be any. Oh my god, it is on the front page. Wow, <laughs> I'm surprised how popular my videos are. All right, so here's my video. Right, let me get some. Okay, there you go. That's all you need to see. Uh, component 720p. That's the input. That is the input the Wii U outputs. That is the input which the piece of shit says that it's dictating. However, massive black borders around all corners of the video. And if you look at it, obviously it's been compressed to hell by YouTube and I'm holding it with an iPod. So this this isn't the best proof, but it's 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 inferior video quality. Oh man. It it uh, it's oh, this is just a bad thing because the, the product is so old. They even have like an updated quote unquote gamer edition now, which, as far as I can tell, is exactly the same thing. Like, I don't even know what the supposed differences are. But I don't think they even sell the uh, Hapark HD VR anymore, so it's not like this review is going to save someone who was on the fence. I just really needed to have a go at this thing because for years now this has been just a constant regret and any time I want to play a game they say oh man really want to play Super Smash Brothers wait what's it what the hang on what the fuck what the fuck is that oh fucking no I've got my hands um it's alright I'm I've I'm I didn't even have an idea of what this video was going to be out when I started recording. So to say that I've ran out of ideas now is, is a moot point. But suffice to say, uh, this Hapaug HD PVR is the worst video capture device on the market, assuming it is still on the market, which I highly doubt. If the gaming edition is still on the market, that is the worst one on the market. If they have some updated version, basically, if it's got Hapaog on the tile and it doesn't connect directly into the motherboard, don't go for it. And even if it does, there's probably better uh, solutions out there for your video editing needs. Uh, Alright, fuck it. <laughs>